when I tell people I play the organ. Like, oh, you know how to play the Dracula song or the Halloween theme? You know, the box, the Cotton and Fugue D minor that everyone knows. And I think that's like the only piece that people know about the organ. My name is Noah Klein, and I've been playing the organ for 11 years. My musical background began when I was about five or six, and my parents enrolled me into piano lessons with a local piano teacher. I didn't really like it at first, but my parents made me keep doing it, so I kept with it, and eventually I got the hang of it, and I started liking it more and more. Then at around age 11, I found a flyer at the bulletin board at my dad's church offering organ lessons from a local organ teacher. And I began those, and eventually my love for organ eclipsed my love for the piano, and I just stuck with the organ ever since. When I first started, there is a little bit of intimidation, like approaching a much bigger instrument than the piano. Multiple keyboards and then the pedal boards and all these stops or knobs on either side of you. It's a lot to look at when you first are introduced to it, but with the more practice, more playing, you get uh, that feeling of intimidation lessens and you feel more at ease at the instrument. It creates a unique power that most instruments can't. You know, it can fill a whole room with sound and like shake the walls and floors, but it can be very quiet too, so I just enjoyed exploring the different ranges and dynamics that the organ can produce. I think the main draw for me to the organ is the wide variety of sounds that organs are capable of. You know, they have different families of pipes that produce different sounds, so it's really a whole orchestra worth of pitched hampers. When I get into the zone when I'm playing, it's a really good and powerful experience because, you know, I've been playing this piece for the past, like, a couple months, and I've spent so many hours just going over the notes and making sure, like, every measure is really good and perfect. And it's a lot to think about when you're playing, but if you have lived with the piece for so long and it's really become a part of you and you can just naturally play it without thinking too much, then it really frees up your mind to pay attention to how you're playing the piece and like, what the story you're telling is and making sure like the audience is getting all the little nuances of the music that you are aware of and you're just bringing it out to them. What keeps me coming back to playing organ is when I hear a really inspiring performance by another performer. Once I hear those performances every once in a while, it just really makes me want to practice more and get that better and really showcase the power and beauty that the organ can produce. Once I hear those performances every once in a while, it just really makes me want to practice more and get that better and really showcase the power and beauty that the organ can produce. I want the audience to be as excited about the music as I am. When I'm playing a piece and I've lived with it for so long, I really get involved with it and I really come to really love and enjoy the piece. So I hope through my playing that people are as excited about it as I am through hearing my playing. And I just hope that people view the organ as a little bit more exciting instrument than what they might have previously thought of. Mm -hmm.